Hello there people, it's Jack Rack here, and I'm doing a video here today on Rossi 2X, which is actually a really interesting indie game. And I actually like the indie game name because it has that it's arcade style feel to it that I don't get from many other too many other games every now and then. And I actually really like this kind of game when it comes down to arcade style that it was bringing me back to the old days when, when back at NES, the Super Nintendo more specifically, because I never really had NES, had the games for the NES, never had them. Since, oh, no, secret! Got secret! Yay! Secret! And yeah. I don't know why I really like this game. Just a simple, fun, and overall enjoyable. And. I just got from a different mistake, damn it. Okay, I should not uh, take my eye off for that. And I got perfect. I always have one, but whatever. So, okay then. I got stage two. There's actually a story behind this, but the cutscenes don't really play after you beat the. Mission, story mission. So yeah, so you kind of have to stick here, and so you gotta kind of stick with me here. So yeah, then to come in, and also close the whole thing. Got the staff, and no, yeah, no, you're not gonna go out and not be rescued. And also, like, I'm also thinking of doing this a little bit more often with other games besides this one. I mean, like, um, I'm thinking of doing it with House of the Dead. If you don't know what that is, please, look it up. It's an actually fun game, if you don't know what it is. It, it was one of the arcades where I take the two light gun pistols that the machines have. And actually you fire the hell out of them, you know, the usual stuff that when you take go to the arcade and boom boom boom, tied up the thing in. That's so much goddamn fun to do back in old days in arcades. And since it also makes me happy that I also have the collection for the Wii, which is also really really fun. For the three point for the arcade, it's always fun to play. And it was one of the games I really, really hope that gets a PS4 release. Besides just the Wii. Or like making or like make an HD remaster or some one. Some some shit like that. But yeah. If anything, those games are fucking badass. As you see my fast skills in this game. As far as as far as it may be seen here. These are the first levels, and I got a silver on that for the first time ever. The first levels, the first levels here are not that exciting, but when it falls down to the home, I'm going to the tutorial section because I just feel like we should go through like this tutorial section first before we um, before I tackle to the rest of the game, you know. You know, just for more of the stuff to me that type of shit. But yeah. And also the teleporting. And these gears that look, these deadly ass gears here. I don't know why someone would decide to install them, but okay. Maybe because it got cold in the ship one day and decided to act, hey, hey, it's all these heaters. That's a bomb. Uh, are you sure that those are not, uh, not deadly? Yeah, I'm sure. And just step them in and that. Okay, and stay through. And yeah. And also, like. Can't, no, 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 stop watching. You seriously stop. Ah, damn it. My 
Oh, it didn't stop. Okay. One more if I stop. I need to get a timer here for the 15 minute video thing. I'm not gonna build the share factory because I don't even know the use of it ever. Which, yeah. Share factory is not that controlled for my opinion, but whatever. I'm just gonna take video clips and upload like this, explain through simple levels. Oh shit. See what happens if you install deadly heaters in, in your own ship. Death. I'm not sure who this slide is that. Hey, deadly heaters, put those in there so you can ship it. Oh my god, did Bill just die? No, he's just sleeping in the heater. Not to worry. Yeah, just see the dead ball sitting there, just like. Like, hi, I am just dead. Whoops. Whatever. Okay, let's get going here. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. The teleporting really looks like... The teleporting physics. I love the teleporting physics, don't you? Just magically pure... Like, boom! I peered over here. I, no, I'm over here now. Yay! I'm over here. And in case you're wondering, she actually had a bionic arm, in case you don't know. If you had a bionic arm, which being, well, really cool. Good. Which I currently, I got really think the first game to see, but I'm not quite sure. And also, what makes the game extra fun is the fact that there's all these things that you see here. All merch, all these things I'm doing here all become merged together and make one massive combination of things. But you'll see that on um on on the ninth level how everything starts to get merged. And now we just exit out of the ship and now we're in our ship now. Yay! Then now we have this diesel guys. These little switches of massive death and destruction. Make me wonder who installed them with pointed particles right next to them. Yeah. And also if you touch those you die. And different colors, colors find different kind of the, the, the different kind of barriers, you know. That type of shit. People can be happening here while on their escape pods. Well, from what it looks like, it's their escape pods. And I just got sober on that. Nice. I was up sober. I congratulate myself on that, you know. I, I dedicate that to my fans and stuff, you know. You know the show and stuff, so yeah. Okay, and now I got those blocked out of the way. I'm not sure why, but this look, this thing on the side reminds me way too much of a swamp, swamp from Mario. It's just a thousand of face. Like, that what literally reminds me of. So, yeah. Now I got giant space swamp. Swamp right there with Mario just chilling out in space, you know. So I take a vacation here in space. So I'd be like, hey, stop. I'm no longer being Mario in the universe no more. I'm gonna be hanging out here. Or it's possibly gonna be taken out and, you know, be turned into like a statue to mainland. So some, basically celebrating someone's death. That type of, that type of shit. Okay then. Yeah. Nope. Oh damn it! I boosted the wrong time. If I'm literally trying. To... Which? Okay, let's see here. 
Okay, just stop hopping. Let's hop, hop like a butterfly. Yay! More teleporting. I wish I get. And also the story here, which is actually really interesting. But maybe not as deep as your. Like as through other games like The Last of Us being like that type of thing, but it's something. Still own classic um space tales, you know heroic effort type type of thing, you know. Yeah, you know the general conscious. Hostile counter. Here is when shit may go down. This is when it gets enemies. I am sorry. These enemies remind me way too much of that and what you see in Galica. Yeah, Galica. Another one of my favorite um one of my favorite arcade style games with always so much fun to play. Got one. There's not one man left behind. Okay. Now that that one's not left behind, what well, anyway he perform? Now let's let's keep going on. Let's hopefully get that down. Yeah, then jump in time. Now let's. Get the hell out of here. Okay, no shit, I almost... I almost ran into that, damn it. I almost ran into it. Okay. Let's do some fast acrobatics here and... Oh, interesting. What are all the fucking with the deadly heaters? Like seriously, people, you get the heaters not deadly, you know, like shit, natural shit heaters? Not something that'll kill someone. Seriously, what the hell? Yeah. God damn it! These shit heaters, I'm not gonna surprise if some of your co-workers died for this. I am not gonna be surprised in any way, shape, or form. I'm assuming you gave all your, I can assume you gave all your co-workers teleporting powers so they can get through this without getting killed by the freaking deadly heaters that you always seem to put up. Oh yeah, deadly heaters. These are, well, yeah. Oh, game thing. Thanks for playing these right next to deadly heaters and damn it. I used to really walk into that. That'd be kidding me. And on there and Okay then. So that should Then we're almost done the video. If you like that video leave a like, subscribe. The usual stuff and and if you want to see more just leave a comment below leave a, the, leave a comment below for that and let me know how much you liked it and see you around bye